Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. So today I'm going to react to Mahoka Koko no Reto Se, the reminiscence arc. This is a one episode special, uh, one hour episode that uh, released a few days ago. And this, as far as I know, this is like a little prequel to everything, you know, to even the first season. This is a prequel to the first season. And uh, like, you know, the, the way we are accustomed uh, to Miyuki and Tatsuya this will probably tell us a different story because from the summary as far as I could gather, uh, this is before the time, you know, uh, when like, you know, Tatsuya and Miyuki were not that good of, uh, you know, like the, the relationship was not that good. You know, there was like probably, uh, I'm not sure, like, you know, like the, the way Miyuki loves Tatsuya now, that was not the case, you know, from the beginning. So this tells that story which I'm really interested uh, to actually check out like what even happened that you know like this much of a drastic change happened between the relationship I'm quite curious so yeah I'm going to be watching this and uh, this is uh, a one hour um, episode so I won't be you know like it will be only a timer reaction um, the way I usually blur the video I won't do that you know in case of like you know copyright stuff I'm not sure how YouTube <laughs> like, you know YouTube can catch you anytime so um i'm not going to do that i'm going to do this as a normal time and reaction so you can like you know play the video alongside like you know sync it to the timer and play it alongside my reaction so anyways let's get started with this and uh yeah so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go all right, it's been a while I've seen Mahoka Koko. The origin, okay. Oh, this is still the present. I think so. Yeah, this is still the present. So we're going to get this in a flashback way? Okay, this girl, um, she was in season two, she wasn't she? My memory is a little bit hazy. Okay. Yeah, 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 okay. All right. Four years. Irregular Magic High School Reminiscence Arc. Season two is a little bit hazy in my mind, but I do remember the specifics. Okay. All right, so here we go. This is a flashback. Wow. Ah, uh, there's Tatsuya. Okinawa, Naha Airport. Okay, so Maya is okay. Here we go. Damn, like, yeah, their relationship is really strained. Wait, no. Wait, who's this? Is this? No, no, this is the aunt. Why? Wait, why did she? Why did she call her mom? Didn't, didn't her mother pass away? 
Okay, I'm getting kind of confused here now. Okay. Like, yeah, my memory is correct. Like, Tasia and uh, Miyuki both call her aunt. So, why did she... I guess it's because I don't know. Let's see. Oh, this girl. Okay, yeah, they're very similar. The resemblance. Konami. Hmm. Yeah, they're rich. Very rich. Like, look at this place. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> um better back off that's it back off um yeah Okay, she is calling her Miyuki son. This is not their mom. Like, this is one thing that's actually confusing me because I know, like, Maya. I think uh, the aunt's name was Maya, wasn't it? Like, like the sister? That's why they call her aunt. Anyways, I'm sure we'll, I'll get my answers as I keep watching. Well, you're rich, you know. <laughs> Weaker. Oh, she doesn't know the whole. Okay. Hmm. Um, you should probably look forward and walk. Yeah. Oh, my God. Whoa. Wait, what the hell? Second generation of left blood. Wait, what? Really? Huh. 
Ah, great. <laughs> well, awfully blunt. Oh my god. Great, picking on kids. <laughs> well, wow. what's <laughs> Oh, come on, yeah! There you go! <laughs> Some random punks suddenly pop up, talking big and like, what the? <laughs> yeah, Joe is. Joe won't be getting up soon. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Okay, so this is how it starts. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing. Wow, he So wait. As far as I, yeah, like Tasha only had, uh, you know, like emotions for Miyuki. That's the only emotions that was left in him. But here, he seems awfully um, nonchalant about this. Like, so did that happen after this or? Hmm. Oh, yeah, fever? What? Okay, good over. Yeah. 
dipped at betraying your own feelings wow which she is able to do very well after you know like in the, in the main anime we could see how she like you know is so adept at doing that eldest son to maintain her All right. Augmented magician. Oh, she is a Okay. Okay. Wow, imagine like at such a young age, like hosting a party. Oh no, not hosting, sorry. Uh I'm sorry. I'm she's going in behalf of okay. Damn, he doesn't even acknowledge that, so yeah. Great. Like, this is what... Ugh. Well... Oh, these two. There you go. As, as far as I could tell, these two have, these two respect Tatsuya in, in season 2 as far, as far as we could see. So let's see if that was from the beginning or l later on. <laughs> there you go. Okay, they really do respect him. From the beginning, that means. Interesting. Well. Hmm. Damn, that face. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but he cannot because this is a party, public place. Hmm. Damn.
Mm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, okay, here we go. Yeah, it's very good. Like, yeah. Southwest waters of Ijima. Okay. Wait. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> um Yeah, I was thinking like what would she say? My God, that's a very okay. At least it smiled. Oh, what's happening? Oh, my God, here we go again. Some random. No, wait, what's happening? Submarine, okay. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, what the hell? Yo! Is it, is it like freezing? It's going to freeze everything or something? Oh, there you go. I, I forgot the name. What was it called? Um, Gram... Gram Demol... No. Gram Demolition? Is that whatever was it called? Oh, well. Yeah. Okay. Well, like everyone's like obviously they're like kind of very influential and everything. So 
a lot of people will obviously be targeting them and especially during these type of times when they are alone or you know Oh no, wait. Wait. This. Why were they messing with them? They're police officers. What the hell? So that's what he does in his free time, messing with kids. That's what they do. What? More than angry, I'm surprised. Like, what the hell? I thought these were some random, like, you know, people who were hired by someone or something. And they're, they're turning out to be officers. Like... Hmm. Oh, wow. <coughs> Why is she out alone? Oh no, no, okay, that's it there. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised that he's actually eating on the same table. Like the way they were actually treating him, I thought like you know like he would eat alone or something. Oh. Well. Wait a minute. Is it going to cross this or something? Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> okay, there you go. I thought like she would say like go and cross dress or something. Oh. <laughs> well, hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Okay, here we are. I don't know why these guys seem these guys seem suspicious. Like first of all, those officers me were messing with random kids on the street. Like who even does that? And this guy seems nice. I don't know. Okay. Hmm. <coughs> Middle school. <coughs> exactly, like you should be you know, proficient in everything. Wow. Okay. Elimination style. Okay. Whoa. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, Muki did say that she wants to see skill level so even though that was just an excuse to go with him but still <laughs> okay <coughs> All right, come on. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's why. All right. Wow. Okay, he's having a little bit of problem, I think, but <coughs> there you go. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Okay, who now? Who is this? Oh, that guy. What? Like, the fault was his from the beginning. Now, what the? Yeah, obviously he's not holding a grudge. We can clearly see that. Okay. Come on. 
Let's go. Yeah. Cool. If Tasha wants, he could just end him, you know? <coughs> yes, come on. Just... Yeah, there you go. Okay, there you go. That's ground demolition. Yeah, you should... <laughs> like, I don't know what he was thinking when he was started messing with him. Joseph, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Okay. <clears throat> Damn, that's a high spec PC. Well, obviously, this is, yeah. Oh, what the? Wait, what was that? I did not read it properly. What? Ten kilometer east. Oh my God, that submarine. Okay, that ran away. Okay. I think that's the only way that they can get out of this, like... What's happened? Oh no! This is really the mall! <laughs> They're so similar looking, I thought this was Maya. Okay, makes sense. Oh, so their mom did not die? Okay, it's a little bit different, their eye color and like, you know, the diminuer. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay. Okay, the hairstyle is also different. It's been a while I've actually seen her, so I forgot. That's why I was feeling a little bit of an... Like, when I was thinking, like, is this really Maya? I was always thinking from the beginning of this episode. And even she was calling her mom, so... <clears throat> okay i have a few discussions to do after this ends i have a few like you know um things i i'm kind of not confused but i'm thinking about like there's a few clarifications that i really need Wait, who are these? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> okay, so he's actively talking with him. Well, <laughs> Gunch, wait, what? Whoa. Oh, great. <clears throat> oh, boy. Oh, this was this is was what Maya was talking about. So the emotional, it, it was kind of going off. So she's again okay. So now she he's again that unemotional type of like you know that. Oh boy. <clears throat> okay. Did she open the limiter? I, is that what she, Okay. <clears throat> what the? See, this seems very weird. This is very weird. Oh my god.
Yeah, like obviously that's very apparent. Okay. Oh no. Whoa. And that's why we kill people? Is is that what? Oh, that that's what they're Okay. No, 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 Muki, don't. The other people, they're going to shoot you. The God damn, I knew this was going to happen. Oh. Oh, so this is how she loses her life. Whoa! Oh my god. Okay, so he can bring her back. Using uh, that one, that thing, and I forgot the term that he uses. The one where he actually re reconstructs the, you know, like, person from the past and brings it back. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Okay, um... <clears throat> yeah, and <clears throat> as far as I can remember, <clears throat> the thing that he does here actually transfers all the pain to him at some, like, you know, multiplied amount or something. Like, the, like you know, that's why... 
he brings someone back to life but at the same time he has to go through that pain what happened to honami and i think that was her name and where's the mom oh, oh no oh wait the mom Oh, so this is where she dies, I think. Or maybe, wait. Okay, oh, she, she's, he's bringing her back. Wait, so was I wrong? Are their mom alive? So why don't, don't we see her in the main anime? Wait, he's also bringing her back. My god. Nah, that was not healing magic. Oh, great. First, let us get out of this situation, yeah. Oh. Oh, that's why we're... Oh, my God. Great. Hmm. <coughs> yeah, there you go. Oh my god. Hmm. Obviously he won't do that. Like Oh wait. Oh okay. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Hmm. Okay.
Okay. <clears throat> okay, I also need a f like I know the Like, I know the situation roughly. I don't know any details. Like, that's why it would really help if we actually get a proper explanation from um, Mewkid's mom. Okay, there you go. Okay, there you go. Ooh. Well. Oh. my god like he can just destroy anyone and revive anyone like yeah consider dear to Yeah, please. I also need an explanation proper. Defective magician. Okay. Okay. It compose information about it and then reassemble them. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's not magic. Okay, makes sense. Ah. Uh. 
artificial magician plan which its abilities are bestowed upon a non magician by implanting an artificial magic calculation area into the brain okay yeah impulses Yeah, okay, from here on as I know. Oh, that's why he's not so good at, okay, makes sense. Hmm. Considers dead to him. Consider. Yeah. Meant it considered to be dear. Oh, so, okay. So Okay, well, Okay. Whoa. That thing. Wait, she doesn't know?
Nope. Mm. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Whoa. Center of the enemy fleet. Oh boy. Okay, she's here. Oh, whoa. Okay. Ooh. My God, here we go. <laughs> Nuke them. Oh, no. My God. Oh, I think this is where she dies. Augmented magicians. Oh. Okay, so Tasha could have brought her back, but she, yeah. Like, this is like the first time that she took a decision. That's why she's saying that. Like, like, I don't want to die at someone's orders. I want to die according to my will, but I want to die. Oh, is this the present or yeah, this is the present. Yeah, she looks a lot like, not a lot, she looks completely like her. The girl, I, I don't remember her name. She looks completely like Honami.
Join funeral for Oak. Scattered into the ocean. It's free. Finally, she's free. Okay. Oh, that's the end? Okay. So I thought we would get something more. Wait a minute. So one thing, okay, this movie. Okay, this was a g g very good, like well done prequel, I have to say. Like most of my confusions kind of got answered here. There were quite a few things that I already thought. Uh, like all the time thought whenever I watched Mahuka, there were a few questions I always had. Now, one thing that I could very much gather from this episode is that um like magic is really something that is uh like you know that that really gives you like you know your respect you know it's also like you know something that uh leaders are like you know people think that yeah leaders are supposed to have immense magic that's why tatsuya was so badly treated like the weird thing is here is like even though Tatsuya doesn't have magic the thing that he has is something that it, that probably could even like you know what can i say like it's something even more important than normal magicians what normal magicians do he can basically bring anyone back to life and it just can deconstruct them that's what she, he can do like like i don't know why like you know why like I'm, i guess like as i said like you know the the big the, the thing here in this universe is that people really kind of stress in the whole magic thing if you don't have magic you don't have anything uh whatever tasua has they don't even care like magic is the only thing that they care about like like this 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 shows that they don't i i guess they don't like you know um it's very uh, what can i say um like, they don't even care about anything else they want to go in that like you know they want to follow that same path like yeah this person he's good at magic he's good as a leader uh this person doesn't have any magic he he's useless like this type of a thing while tatsuya the thing that tatsuya has is something that could probably surpass any magician if he wanted to he can use the thing that he has that to do anything and i think in one of the uh in one of the seasons i don't remember which season it was there was someone who i think was was it season two no i think it was season one like uh yeah it was season one i think like someone told that uh like it's really uh, yeah it's a shame that he doesn't get uh something along these lines you know like i'm i don't completely remember what that person said but he said something along these lines that it's a shame that tasio doesn't like you know is not recognized enough because the thing that she has the thing that he does is something that is v like uh, that can surpass most magicians but since like you know like because of this system no one acknowledges his power like there was this, I, I don't know who said that or where did i hear, hear it but there was something someone who told something like this in one of the seasons i do remember that so that was basically it like from the beginning of even this episode and from for quite a while i always had this thing in my question i had always had this question that since tasso is so strong why do people not recognize him this 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 episode answered my question why it's it's basically because of the uh, stereotypical uh, you know like notion not notion but that that one uh, yeah that that one thing that everyone like you know uh, gives more press uh, 
priority or more uh, not priority what do you call it precedence to someone who has better magic than someone who doesn't have magic like that's basically the thing here like uh, the merit system it's it's based on that like you know if you have good magic you you can you can have anything if you don't have good magic well sucks to be you something like that um so yeah that was the thing here another thing that this episode was really like you know like um confused me from the beginning is i wasn't able to recognize who she the lady was from the beginning i thought it was maya because i don't know why but i always had this uh, notion that their mom is dead now i don't know after this what happened i don't know i i always thought that their mom is dead or something so i was wrong so so why have we not seen her in season one or season two so so is she still alive or did she die after this like it's really weird that we've always seen their aunt but we never seen have seen their mom like that's why i i, th I think that's why i made this thing up in my mind that oh their mom is dead or something like i doubt the anime told us that she's dead yeah i, I don't think the anime told us like that's why since we never really saw her and you know we even saw her their dad but we never saw her their mom so i i kind of like you know i think I, I i made this up in my mind that their mom is dead or something that's why in the in this show in this in this episode when we saw and see her i was like wait a minute is this maya but this is, she looks kind of different than maya and then she, miyuki calls her mother and i was like wait a minute so she's calling her mother so is this their mom and then i thought that wait so, so wasn't their mom supposed to be dead and since i always had that preconceived notion that their mom is dead i thought that okay so this must be maya this is it's impossible that this is their mom because their mom is supposed to be dead but turns out it was their mom actually and like okay so okay so one thing um we do get to know here what she went through and you know like her past why she treats Tatsuya like that and so yeah basically so that's that's what it is Tatsuya was born she like you know she like saw that Tatsuya does not have like you know the normal magical capabilities that all the other people have so she like realized that yeah Tatsuya is obviously won't be able to um carry on you know their legacy or whatever so she I guess she decided to do that experiment on him to re not replace but to transplant the magical calculation that thing they were successful but it was like it, it didn't even help that much the only thing that happened was the side effect that happened was all their his emotions were gone only leaving Miyuki's like you know the love for Miyuki and it's interesting here that now I feel like I feel like this show, uh, not this show, sorry, this episode, uh, kind of tried to. I don't know the the way their mom was act re like reacting to everything and how their mom was, you know, like kind of doing stuff. It gave me not not only me. I'm sure a lot of people thought that oh, the mom really doesn't like Tatsuya, but I feel like there's something else this that is going on here. Uh, one thing that actually is really odd here is that as in the end Miyuki says that um, so the only thing that is left is no not Miyuki sorry but she says that the only thing that is left is uh, Tatsuya's love for you uh, and she says something like that she had the choice I think she said something like that didn't she like she said that I had the choice to actually select which emotion that he he would be able to keep or something like that okay where is that part um okay uh yeah okay this part one exception tasuya didn't uh the one exception tasuya didn't lose that's your answer um 
The one impulse that remained inside him was his love for his sister, to love his sister in words you and to protect you. Um, that is the only genuine emotion left inside him. Okay, uh, since Tasya knows all about himself, that must be what he meant when he said consider to be dear. As for me, he merely recognizes me as his mother. And the natural love between parent and child does not exist. Okay, here we go. Did you choose for that to happen intentionally? Mother. Okay. I did feel that if one, if he could keep one impulse, it should be love for you. Now, here's the thing. Um, this one thing. So that means like she basically thought that, okay, there's only one emotion that could be kept within him. So it should be uh, his love for Miyuki, which kind of shows that the only thing that she, like, you know, she cared about this whole thing was Miyuki's well-being. Now, there is definitely a reason for this, which I, as far as I could guess, is she was doing, she's doing this because she wants Miyuki to be protected because she's the only one you know, who has genuine magic power and who's very strong in magic like we see we know how Miyuki is strong in magic and that's why since she is the like you know she she's the one who could be a leader because of her magic power that's why she wants Miyuki to be safe that was I think that was the only thing that she was thinking here that's why she uh, like you know made Tatsuya uh, the only mission that was left in Tatsuya was something that was uh, her love for her sister, uh, his love for his sister. Now, this this kind of shows that she, like, I don't know. I feel like Miyuki said something at the, at the previous one of those instances, which is also another interesting thing. She says that uh, it was not only my brother who lost all his emotions during that time. It was you as well, wasn't it, mother? So... I feel like there's something going on in the background here like probably uh she i don't know i feel like she really didn't want to do this i might be wrong though you know this is like a complete guess i'm taking i feel like she really did not want to do this to tatsuya you know like this whole like thing she really did not want to do this but she had to do it because obviously you know like she is she, she and like you know her family is part of the 10 uh you know the the 10 clans i think the 10 clans that was it, what it's called yeah and they are supposed to be leaders and if their uh, successors are not does not have any magic it would be like you know their legacy would be completely gone so obviously there's a lot of things involved in this a lot of politics a lot of like you know stuff so she i think she probably realized that tatsuya only like you know existing like this would be painful for him as well because there'll be a lot of things going on you know a lot of people will blame him because you know like he does not have magic people will say that oh because of you our legacy couldn't be continued because you were such a you know like you don't have magic you're a failure or something like that they're, they're going to say that that's going to happen obviously they obviously the legacy would stop you know and a lot of things are going to happen and since they are one of the leaders it'll be a fall from grace you know they, 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 they're just going to plummet so i think that's why she probably took this decision to implant that you know they took a gamble to implant that magic calculation thing into him in hopes of something good happening out of it because this this thing would also be painful for tatsuya like she he would always live in like in a constant agony because of this so she, i think she probably wanted to take a gamble here and that's why you know miyuki said there is that not only my brother lost all his emotions but you as well because she probably had to kill off all her emotions at that moment because no one would want to do that to their own child you know like imagine like uh, transplanting something into your child's brain and your child will uh, like, you know lose all your emotion all their emotions and everything and only one thing will be left within him only one emotion will be left and i don't think that's like that's obviously that's very messed up so that's why i'm guessing she probably had to kill off her own emotions as well at that moment 
and uh, you know like she did that uh, transplantation in Tatsuya it failed kind of like it didn't like you know ha like nothing happened uh, nothing significant happened and so she was like okay so this was a failure um, so the only thing that I can do now is put my trust in Miyuki and make Tatsuya so that she he is able to always protect Miyuki because he'll be the head of the clan or something and that's why like she didn't even like you know like as, as she said like she, she the only thing that she kept within Tatsuya was his love for um, Miyuki like she didn't even consider uh, like you know like what can i say something else like keeping some other emotion but that was the only thing that she thought that would be better here so like this whole thing i think this is purely because of probably circumstances that's where that was going around because they are supposed to be one of the biggest you know one of the clans one of the top 10 clans and um they are since they're supposed to be leaders they had to take these type of uh drastic decisions and this is just my guess you know because throughout this episode um one thing i could very easily gather is that she did try to kind not try but the way she was talking to tatsuya was very blunt very straightforward very um you know like no emotions nothing she was calling him servant and everything but there was not there was i did not feel any bitterness you know like there, there's a difference between you know like uh those two like the things that she was calling Tatsu, the way she treated him it was very bad obviously but there was no bitterness within it i don't know i but i kind of felt that so i feel like there's something maybe there's something bigger going on in the background Maybe she didn't want to do this to Tatsuya, but she had to because of circumstances. And that's why, like, you know, she herself, this, as Miyuki said, she herself decided to kill off her emotions for Tatsuya so that it's easier for her to continue interacting with him. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. This whole episode, I, I felt that she did not, the things that they, she was saying were kind, kind of horrible. But there were no bitterness within it and i don't know anyways this is just something that i think now again like there's one question that is still un un unanswered what happened to her like we never heard anything about her in the original anime is she still alive in the original anime like in this like, you know, in this episode we saw her still being alive so i'm sure she is alive so why do we not get to see her in the anime? What happened to her after that? That's one question um, I'm having. Now this episode, as I said, like this is like a little prequel where in the beginning we see Miyuki, Tatsuya and uh, the other girl, I don't remember her name, who looks, looks a lot like Honami. You know, them and Miyuki kind of reminiscing about their past, about her past and about how she looked so much like Honami. And we... Like, you know we, we see everything from that perspective now like from the flashback perspective uh how you know they're, they're going to the uh the beach house or whatever they went that place and here i make a mistake as i said like you know i i thought that was maya you know because it's been a while i, I actually watched this show so i thought it was maya you know but since again since i had this preconceived notion that their mom is dead that's why i thought that was maya even though she called her mother i thought that oh how could this be his their mom because isn't their mom dead but no that was wrong that was wrong of me that was my mistake but anyways they, they do give us our answers in the later portions like that like yeah that's not maya that's actually their mom so okay now Like, I think, you know why I also thought that this was actually Maya? Because I don't know why I also had this notion that maybe their mom was actually kind towards Tatsuya. Because, you know, usually in these type of situations where the, you know, like, like we, we did see uh, their dad before, you remember? Um, in season one. And the dad was also very bitter towards Tatsuya. 
So usually in these type of animals, at least one parent is actually <laughs> like you know, at least one parent parent is actually uh, loving towards their child. You know, whenever these type of animals have these type of settings where their parents hate their child or something, something like that, usually one of them is kind or lovable towards them. I don't, I, I don't know why, but that was probably a thing in my head. And that's why I thought that, okay, maybe their mom is actually kind towards Sasuya. So when I saw this happening, there were a few things in my mind. Number one, I thought their mom is dead. Number two, I thought their mom was kind towards Sasuya. So seeing her act like that towards Tatsuya and seeing, you know, like all of that, even though Miyuki called her mom, I thought that was not their mom. I thought that was Maya or something. Maybe, I, I don't know. I thought maybe Maya told her to call her mom or something. I'm just, I, I thought like I made this hypothetical scenario inside my head and that's why I wasn't able to realize that was actually their mom, not Maya. Unless and until I saw like, you know, that phone call came. So <laughs> this was the thing that was going on on my head. So anyways, okay, so yeah, we get to the flashback now. One thing that was extremely weird is I don't know why Joe, that was his name, wasn't it? It Yeah, I don't know why he suddenly started messing with Tasuya and Miyuki. Like, like, what the hell was that? Like, is that what he does? Like, goes around uh, messing with children? Like, <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, that's why, like, at that moment, that's why I thought, oh, maybe these are actually enemies or something. I thought maybe they were, I don't know, some, like, you know, they're, they're very rich. Obviously, there will be people who have some grudge against them or something, you know. I thought maybe these were that type of people. So I was actually surprised seeing Job actually being in the military. Okay. Anyways, that was that. And then we, like, you know, we see Miyuki kind of struggling with the whole thing of her being unable to know, not unable, but her not knowing how to interact with Tatsuya. Like, um, I thought she was, she, like she would probably, I don't know, like mm, probably misbehave with him or something because I, I, I read the summary, I read the summary, the summary here kind of said that, um, <laughs> like what, uh, like, you know, this is the story of, uh, the, like, you know, the past where Miyuki and Tatsuya were not that, you know, like, uh, what can I say, were, were not that uh, kind and compassionate towards each other. So I thought maybe the, here M M M uh, Miyuki was, would probably misbehave with Tatsuya or something. But turns out that was not the case at all. The thing she basically did was kind of pout a little bit. <laughs> That's what she did. Like, I thought she would genuinely be angry with Tatsuya or something, or they would have, like, some kind of bitter feelings towards each other or something. They would be kind of antagonistic towards each other. I thought it would be something like that. But that was not the case at all. From the beginning, like, we see Miyuki kind of, like, you know, in the beginning, she says that I don't know how to interact with him. It was basically, she was basically awkward. That was just it. Like, no bitter or harsh feelings towards each other. She was just awkward as hell from the beginning. And she was kind of, like, um... <laughs> pouty and like envious jealous like all that stuff so <laughs> that was what was happening basically <laughs> so yeah anyways so Miyuki has been like that from the beginning it was a little bit lesser towards like you know the start and then now we know you know in the season one and season two we are very much well aware how much Miyuki you know adore Satsuya so <laughs> that's basically it so so basically <laughs> So basically what it was is like in the prequel, she was like, um, like, like a sundere, like a 50% sun, 50% dere, dere, but after this, you know, thing, like, it's like 100% dere now, like, that's basically it, that, that's what it was, so, <laughs> my god, like, <laughs> okay, so that was that, we do meet two characters who we already met in season two, those two, uh, the cousins, I think, um, yeah, they're cousins. And we see that they always, like, you know, they always had their respect for Tatsuya from the beginning. And, you know, the, the whole thing starts with uh, the enemies attacking them and stuff. And then we meet the military, you know. Uh, uh, we meet Joe again. Now here I, I, like, I thought, like, maybe something is actually wrong. Maybe, like, you know, something is fishy. I thought, like, like, the way Joe acted, maybe he's a spy or something. I don't know. There was, like, this thing kind of going on in my head. And uh, Miyuki goes with Tatsuya to the military, like, you know, thing. Um, 
facility and you know they had a little spar we actually see Tasuya's power here and you know how he is you know like he doesn't obviously he doesn't have magic it's just that his his power unique power as Miku called it a miracle so yeah that was that and you know like they kind of do the sparring with joe and even that then i thought maybe something is wrong with joe maybe joe is a spy or something i i don't know i had this kind of a like i was not trusting him but then after the little spar like you know like we kind of become friends in a way and i was like okay maybe not maybe he, he really is a good guy uh maybe he was just having a bad day or something that day you know like maybe he just went outside he was having a bad day he suddenly saw two kids and he was like, ah, why don't we, I mess with them? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, that, that, it's still, I, I'm still feeling weird why he suddenly became so hostile as soon as he saw Tatsuya and Miyuki. Like, what was he even thinking? Like, that was Joe, wasn't it? Yeah. Let me check, or, or was it someone else? Let me check. Yeah, that was Joe. There you go. They, 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 they call her, uh, they call him by Joe. Okay. That was Joe. So, <laughs> I don't know why he did that, but anyways. Okay, so yeah, that was that. Then the, the whole emergency thing starts, you know, like um, Maya calls here and that's where I realized that that's not actually Maya, that's actually their mom. <laughs> and yeah, she tells her about like, you know, removing their limiter, that type of things. And yeah, and then they go to the military, the, the, the shelter, you know, this stuff happening people attacking and tatsuya goes outside to deal with it and they take advantage of that and they start rebelling or like you know betraying the, those three people mm. they do that and uh, like obviously there were like you know like stuff going on within them they were like oh like uh, because we don't have magic we are not given the proper respect this and that um Joe was kind of like, you know, calming them down, but I think the, the, the decision that Miyuki took there was very wrong. Uh, she shouldn't have done that, but obviously she's a child. She did not, she didn't think properly at that moment. She attacked them, which you should definitely not do in that type of situation. Joe was actually calming them down. And if Miyuki did not do anything, maybe they, they would have put down their guns or something. But since Miyuki attacked and they, they've like, you know, they, they fired towards them, everyone gets shot everyone not only like you know uh honami but everyone gets shot and everyone dies their mom miyuki and everyone and tatsuya basically comes in and just brings them back to life that was just it like he and here's one thing like correct me if i'm wrong as far as i know uh the when she brings them back to life uh the the death like you know the, the pain that you feel while dying that pain gets multiplied i think and he has to actually suffer that amount of pain at that moment. It's not that easy, you know, like he actually has to suffer that pain himself to bring someone back to life. So basically what happened here is he suffered three people's amount of pain, death pain, you know, the pain that they were going through while they were getting shot. He had to uh, suffer that the three people's worth at that time since he brought three people back, uh, Honami, and Miyuki and the, their mom like my god and she he didn't even like you know like bat an eyelid all right that was that and he decides to go out and fight and uh, gets the suit and everything they start fighting Miyuki gets the truth from them and this thing I already talked about in the previous portion you know uh, like you know like when the discussion started I already talked about this portion how I felt what happened like you know my my take on this whole their mom and this whole situation and um, like I, I still think that this is probably something that the mom was forced to do she did not want to do this on her own but she was forced to do because she knew that that's why would probably have to go through a lot of emotional pain and a lot of things if he kept being you know uh, did not have magic so he took that gamble, she took that gamble and it kind of failed. And to take that gamble, she had to kill off all her emotions for her son, which is Tatsuya. So that's why now she kind of acts like this towards Tatsuya. Like uh, she acts very professionally, very non, like, you know, with no emotions and stuff. 
but i don't know i'm this is probably something that she had to do at that moment kill off her emotions to be able to go along like you know with that experiment otherwise like she wouldn't be able to do it she herself would probably like this is a child you're talking about like obviously like i'm sure she felt pain at that moment and she had to ignore that that's why she killed off her emotions for tatsu and decided to do that anyways i'm not sure this is just my guess you know i might be wrong all right that was that and then you know like we see that happening that they, they they were fighting and all um that's where you know like that was that was a very uh wh what was the name of that just a sec Okay, when Tatsu shoots, I forgot the name of the attack. Material burst. There you go. Mm, so yeah, she he does that. Like you know, he uses material burst, like destroy the whole thing, and like a huge tsunami comes and takes she, she and like you know the others takes take Honami and goes back, and so here. Honami says like Tatsu could have brought her back but Honami says that this is the first time that you know like this was a, a, a decision that I took for myself I want to die on, on the battlefield like this I don't want to die on some other person's order you know like so since that's what she he wanted to do she like you know she wanted to be free and she wanted even at, like you know at least at her last moments of her life she wanted to do something with her own uh, will she did not want to be revived back by Tatsuya and it's like uh, yeah until now I never had any freedom to choose how I live my life but today I was able to choose where where to die there you go like freedom that was a big thing for her and she was this time you know like she herself made that decision like she told um, the, the mom that I want to go there and help Tatsuya that was her own decision not at someone's orders so that's why she did not want to be brought back. Kind of sad. And yeah, and that was the end. Uh, we go to in the end, and then we get to back to the present time. They go to the grave, pay their respects, and yeah, that was it. So that was the prequel, the background of why Miyuki is so like you know adores Tatsuya so much, <laughs> and we actually get a proper explanation as to what happened and the background of all of this like you know and why Tatsu is treated like this all that stuff so yeah that was it so as i said like if i'm wrong about something please correct me down in the comment section because Ma mahoka is a show which is kind of difficult to understand a lot of things like, there are a lot there's a lot of technicalities a lot of like you know things going on a lot of politics and stuff so <laughs> I might, I could easily make any mistake. I probably probably misunderstood something or some some information or something. If I'm wrong, be sure to correct me. So, anyways, that was it. Thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Mahoka Koko no Retose, um, reminiscence arc. Uh, this was like a one episodes, uh, one hour special OVA. So yeah, that was good. I liked this. This was really good. This really gives us a background, a foundation. So yeah so thank you guys for watching this was my uh, okay uh, reaction to this uh, to the reminiscence arc if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and if i you know misunderstood something or some information let me know and uh, yeah i'll check them out so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching so i'll see you guys in the next video um from next week i'm going to start a new show so yeah if you are looking if you watch my, my channel uh keep an eye out on on that so yeah see you guys then until then goodbye and have a nice day